Hey y'all, thank you for clicking on my video. I like to say this video is sponsored by Cricut. Now hold up, don't change the channel. Just stay with me here. Um, these are some of the things I did. And I did do DIYs. I want you to check them out. Um, I just added my little labels and stuff like that with my Cricut. Um, I recently received the Cricut Maker 3, which is phenomenal. This machine is so fast, it's crazy. This, it's amazing. It's a game changer with it, but I still use my mind for some things because I love my Cricut. I've had my Cricut for two years, but I want to share the joy with y'all. I don't want to be greedy. So because I got a new Cricut and a new um, Easy Press, Cricut Easy Press, um, I want to do a giveaway and give one of my subscribers now because y'all, I appreciate I wish I could be like Oprah and say, you're going to Cricut and you're going to Cricut. I can't do that. Let's just craft. Okay, y'all, right here, I got this, um, Lazy Susan from the Goodwill. And I think I got it for $2.99, something like that, which I thought was a pretty good deal because it's huge. Okay, I'm going to take some, um, Goo Gone and get the sticker residue off there. And then we're going to take some alcohol and get that Goo Gone off and clean the whole thing with alcohol. And right here, I'm just going to sand it down real good the best I can. Now, I painted it white, and I put my stripes on it, and I painted it with a pale gray. Now, here, because we're going to do a buffalo check. I ain't painted buffalo check in forever, and you'll, you'll be able to tell here in a little bit. So, you lay down your strip of tape, and then you lay a spacer piece. And then another piece of tape, and then a spacer piece all the way down through. And I'll do it slower in another video if y'all want to see it. And then I'm going to paint it with steel by Waverly. And just paint all those sections with paint. Now, here's why my, my, I went wrong. I let that thing dry overnight. And I know better. But I got tired. Let it dry overnight anyway. So, here we go. Um, Big mistake. But, whatever. So, here I am just doing the same thing I did before. But you leave the tape on at the third stage before you do this last stage here. The other times, you can take the tape off. This time, leave it on. It just makes it look better, I think. Well, unless you leave the paint overnight and it dries too much, and you mess up your project, like I did, but we fix it, so just press your tape down real good, real good, this frog tape is something crazy, y'all, but, um, there, I'm, I had a little piece missing on the end, so I'm just filling in, I didn't have to leave that in there, but I did, so I'm gonna paint those little squares that's left over in elephant chalk paint by Waverly, and then, before it dries, I'm gonna go ahead and pull the tape off, which I should have done the night before. I know you hear me talk about it a lot, but I was really frustrated at this point. So, anyway, yeah, my tape tore my paint off of my board there, but that's okay. I'm going to fix it. Nobody worry. Don't stress out. It's going to be all right. I just paint over all the places yeah, that I messed know. up. Cricut is a smart cutting machine that allows you to create and personalize projects with hundreds of materials, if you work with software called Design Space that comes free with your machine, this is where you create your projects and browse from hundreds of images and fonts. Once you've created your design, Design Space will send it to your machine to cut. Now, I want to show y'all. Hope you don't see my. You get so many things. I mean, you get. This is all smart vinyl heel, but here heel, but you got your regular vinyl, and you got um, iron on. Um, here's your transfer tape. You got your tools. Here's my this roller thing, man, is amazing. Y'all will see that later in the video. And look here, this thing, y'all, this is awesome. And right here, you can store. I got some of my markers in here, some of my blades. Um, you can put your little scraper in there, anything you want, so you don't lose it. You got little cubbies here to hold stuff. Um, you see, I got my tools in there. Um, you guys, this is, well, this is just, it's phenomenal. I mean, I love my machine, and you can't go wrong with it, and it's an investment that will last forever. I'm okay, you guys, so now I'm going to hop on my computer here. I'm going into Cricut Design Space. And, um, I type in scripture. Now, y'all wonder where I get a lot of my stuff at. That's all I do is type in scripture. And I'm going to scroll through them because there's tons of them. And find one that I like. I really, really like this one. Now, my 
Lazy Susan is 15 by 15. And I don't want it to be completely 15. I mean, it just overwhelmed. So you go up in your little box here for the height and dimension. Um, and I typed in 11 by 11 because I thought that would be a good size. Okay, there's my little rolly tool thing. This thing, y'all, is crazy. I love this thing. It just, it, it's just, it's a game changer, too. I know y'all is just like, yeah, well, I, but, yeah, it's really, I don't, know, I don't even know what I'm saying. Um, anyway, you, you put your vinyl in there, and you slide it under that little slot, and you line it up there with your little tab things. You see what I'm talking about? Some people call them grids, I reckon, but I don't know. Call them tab things. I'm going back over to my Cricut, and I'm going to click Make It. And I'm going to go over here, and I'm going to click for no map, because obviously I don't have a map. And I'm clicking go, y'all, right here. <clears throat> that loads your vinyl in a machine. That little button goes up and down, shows up and down. And then it will check to make sure you have enough vinyl. See? Derp, 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 derp. Anyway, and then we're going to cut. Just press go. Well, it doesn't say go. It's a little arrow button. You just press it. This, y'all, is real time. Look how fast this thing is. I'm just amazed by it. I can't believe that Cricut contacted me, y'all. I just felt unworthy. I don't know. I'm crazy. Um, I just I just feel so blessed by it. I really, really do. And I don't know. It's all because of you guys. It really, really is. And I just I love you. Appreciate you very, very much. So one-handed, y'all, here I'm filming. And the other hand, I'm cutting this bad boy loose. And just slice that over Pull that away and hit your little exit button. The little arrow goes up and down and it's going to, well, I was supposed to show you, but I don't do very good at that. There we go. There it is. And again, it's one-handed, so I'm a little bit um goofy here. So we're going to do the weeding, y'all, and you take the bulk of it off unless you're doing stencil. And um, I just like to use my little tool and let those, those spots underneath there. And just pull it slow. You don't rip it off like you're tearing off a Band-Aid. But, you know, you don't have to, like, poke your mud all the way down through there. But, anyway, I love weeding. And I, I like watching weeding. And I don't know why. And if y'all don't, y'all can just skip on ahead. Um, I know some of you will. It's going to hurt my feelings. And you can't hear how bad it hurts my feelings. But, anyway... Um, yeah, just take all the centers out of your little letters, not centers, centers, um, <laughs> stupid, <laughs> anyway, um, sorry I showed y'all this, y'all, but I just wanted to make sure I did my video right for Cricut, you guys, <sighs> give me some grace, anyway, you take your transfer tape and you want it to be the size of your, um, design there i'm just cutting mine down i don't need all that excess paper and stuff and just gonna remove my tape i don't fuzz mine or nothing and it's easy if you fold it like a taco in the center and lay it down it's easier to get it down and then we're just going to take a little scraper and burnish it and y'all i had it on that um silicone mat that's not a good idea you need like a harder base like if i moved the mat and scraped that down it would have been it would came off so much better so just remember that um try not to do it on a soft surface because it just works better if you don't anyway and if it doesn't come up just burnish it again and i like to flip mine upside down i forgot to take the center on my e there and um not center center anyway it comes up i got lucky <laughs> i don't know Again, I like to put it face down whenever I'm taking the um, backing off of it. I think it just comes off easier that way. And then if, you know, something sticks a little bit, you can just take your little pick and just um, touch it there. Well, or your finger like I just did. And roll it on back. This is a bigger um, thing, so. But, I mean, it's easy to do, y'all. It's real easy. I know y'all's like, whatever. No, it ain't, but it is. And I shouldn't have left all this in, but I did. And um, I just want y'all to know, don't be afraid of your machines. It makes me sad knowing that so many of y'all got them at home in boxes and don't use them. Anyway, so I'm just going to try to center my little um, saying here. I love this. I found the one who my soul loves. And I think that just 
says it all. Anyway, I'm going to take my little scraper and I'm going to burnish it down real good here to make sure it sticks to my wood and where that paint's uneven. I just want to make sure I get all the bubbles out and and just, yeah. So just keep going until I get it. And I, again, I like to slide mine. See how I bent that and slide it over instead of trying to rip it straight up? It just works better. And then I'm going to keep that because I'm going to reuse that. And here it is, y'all. Ain't that pretty? I love it. I think it's pretty, y'all. And I'm going to set that in the center of my kitchen table and put my mashed potatoes and corn and, and chicken on it, whatever. And you can just spin it around and scoop your food out of it right onto your plate. Okay, y'all. Right here, I got two of those little wooden plank things from the Dollar Tree. They're skew number. Um, They're really thin, but this turned out so cute, y'all. I love this. I'm in love with this thing. And I hope if any of y'all ever create any of my stuff, please email it to me. And we can start showcasing it on my channel. I'm going to take some uh, hot glue and wood glue, and I'm taking regular craft sticks, and I'm going to put it back there to hold my little sign together. Y'all have seen this a hundred times, but um, I want to make sure that it sticks real good. Y'all, I love this thing. I hope y'all like it as much as I do. I mean, it's like, wow. Anyway, and here I'm just going to use hot glue, just to, not, yeah, hot glue, just on the sides, and y'all going to think I'm crazy, but hear me out. If you put a craft stick on the top and bottom. It balances that out so it's not rocking when you hang it on your wall. I know. But anyway, I'm going to take linen white chalk paint, Rust-Oleum linen white chalk paint, and a chippy brush, and I'm going to paint my my little boards there. Now, um, I'm not doing it like a real heavy coat or a completely covered coat because I'm going to mix up some paint. And right here, I don't know the color of this. It's a paint that came from, uh, it's a dark gray. It came from, uh, Michael's, um, I don't remember. I'll tell you later in the video, I think, y'all. I can't remember nothing. And it's just not dark enough for me. And I'm taking a little bit of elephant. I'm scraping the bottom of this bottle, y'all. Adding water to it and everything by Waverly. I like that old barn wood look. You know how wood starts looking gray like I did my outhouse when I built it? Anyway, and here I got my rolling pin. Now, y'all ain't seen me paint it yet, but I'm trying to uh, figure out where... I'm going to make my little hanger for my rolling pin. And um, I'm just going to take two tumbling tower blocks. And I'm going to mark it where it goes. And I got two of those little cubes from the Dollar Tree also. Um, and I'm going to take wood glue. And I'm going to glue it to the top of my tumbling tower block. Now, y'all, if you got old curtain... Um, uh, rod, not rods, the things that go in your wall, them big old pretty ones. I like to use those to hang rolling pins and stuff on too. <clears throat> anyway, so I got this scrapbooking paper from the Hobby Lobby. And I'm going to cut half inch sections. Well, first I'm going to turn it over to see how long it needs to be cut. <clears throat> anyway, then we're going to cut that off. And we're going to cut half inch section, half in, <sighs> half inch sections here two of them, to put on the sides of my little boards there. Trust me, y'all, it'll work out. <laughs> I'm going to take, um, I think I put regular Mod Podge on there. I think it's high gloss, though. Um, but I do cover it with the um, dishwasher safe. Either way, I want Mod Podge on it so I can um, wipe it down. You know what I mean? So, anyway, just going to put a layer of Mod Podge down and put my little piece of paper on each side of my little pieces of wood. I don't know how else to explain. <laughs> but I'm telling you, I explain things. Where just watch me. It's easier that way. And if there's a color or a something I'm using, I'll tell you then. Because I'm a mess. Anyway, I'm taking the ink chalk paint by Waverly. And I'm going to paint my two little uh, hanging things there. <laughs> what do you call them? Uh, proper up things and I got those little two pieces of wood from the bag of brick and brack y'all but you can just cut uh, popsicle sticks down and I'm going to glue my little hanger things with wood glue to those things I know right I just want like an extra you'll see what I do I'm just going to wipe off that wood glue there and I'm going to paint those in ink also and here I'm just going to sand off that excess paper and besides I like it look a little bit rough around the edges and I'm going to take, y'all, super glue gel now be, and hot glue. Now, be careful because if these glues touch, 
woo, the fumes that send you high for like a few days. It was like, woo, woo, went to my head on that one. But anyway, I'm just going to place that where I uh, drew out my little mark and take my ruler here to make sure they're even across because where I added that, I just didn't know. It was covering up my little pencil marks there. Good gravy, y'all. I talk so much, I get thirsty. Mmm. Um, and it let me know how far apart to do it. And just wipe off that excess glue. Sorry, y'all. Now, here are these little command hook things. I got these at Kroger's for 25 cents. Yeah. And they're clear, so I thought I don't have to paint them. And I'm just putting my ruler down here and lining this up. Um, y'all can use the little uh, Dollar Tree ones. That, yeah, I lied to y'all and didn't mean to. When I said all this was Dollar Tree except the rolling pin, I forgot about those little hooks. Sometimes Dollar Tree has command hooks, though, you know? Anyway, and I'm going to put that uh, super glue gel and hot glue on them. Now, be careful, y'all. Lay that down when you do it because that hot glue made that one stand straight up and I had to fix it. But anyway, and I'm going to take little tacks, silver tacks, and put um, one in each corner, four of them, one in each corner. Because I thought just that was a added cuteness. <laughs> I don't know. Mm. Kind of goes with the theme I'm doing today. And um, I'm going to take two more. And I'm going to put them in my little black things there. Well, see, that will just hold them up better. You know what I mean? I mean, I'm not that worried about it. But besides, I just thought it was cute. Now, on, then where the tacks went through, I just took my lime and pliers and cut it down. And then I like to put a little dab of glue on the back of those to just give it like a dab of protection. Now here, I'm going to make my hangers. And I'm taking um, just hot glue. And I'm going to see, I got to make it balance out because I'm crazy. And I put two extra. So I put another one down so I'd have some height. And then I put another one slightly off the edge of it there. Y'all will see what I'm doing. Well, then I'm going to go ahead and pile that one up. Again, I don't like it rocking on the wall. And that way, if you put your nails in the wall or your screws or your tacks or whatever you hang stuff with, it's going to have a lip there and you have a wider area across through there to make sure you hit your tack or your nail or your screw or whatever you're doing. Yeah. And then it's going to be even. I'm just showing you here with a little hook how it's going to hang up. See, it goes right underneath there. Anyway, I don't know why I keep doing it. Right here is my rolling pin that I got from the Goodwill. And I bleached it. I know I'm crazy, but I did because I'm not planning on using it. And just sand it down real good as you clean it and wipe off where you sanded it. Now, I'm going to paint it in the um, Rust-Oleum Linen White Chalk Paint, the middle there, and then, of course, the ends of it, see, right there. And you can slide that, pick that up and slide that brush right under there where you got your roller. <clears throat> anyway, good gravy, and just hang it up like that to dry. And I'm going to take some painter's tape and put it over the bottom edge of my thing there, see? So... <laughs> And I'm going to paint it. I think that's elephant. The handles, yeah, in elephant. <clears throat> and then I'm going to take me some washi tape here, y'all. And I'm going to make me some flower sack stripes. This is the best way I know to do it. So uh, um, I just put it there on the end. You see right at the very edge. So I know I'm pretty much getting that straight, if nothing else is. And I don't measure... Sorry, I'm trying to get me a drink, y'all. I don't measure, and I just go over how far I think I like it. And then I just put another piece there in the center. Make sure you push that tape down. Push it. Push it down real good. I'm trying to make my little lines as close as possible. I mean, this is like centimeter stuff, y'all. I can't measure that. I can barely measure inches. And I'm serious. I'm that bad at math. I can't measure anything. And anyway, I'm just rubbing that down real good because I don't want any bleeding. Um, I'm sorry I showed y'all all that. Um, I'm going to send this video to Cricket and they're going to say, cut that mess out. Anyway, I'm going to paint my little stripes in elephant. Um, all of them. You could do different colors if you want. Do red and gray. Buckeyes. Good Buckeyes. Anyway, y'all don't care about Buckeyes. I don't either. Well, they do employ my husband. But anyway, it don't matter. So just pull off your washi tape there. I do it while it's wet because y'all see what happens if you let it dry sometimes. It pulls your paint up. There, I can't find the edge, I reckon, and I'm just going to torture you all as much as I'm torturing myself. 
watching it. How y'all doing? I love y'all. <laughs> Every time I mess up, I like to add a little talking space in there. But my ends had a little section that was separate, and I just painted them white. Look, y'all, I got those from the Dollar Tree, and I was, like, blown away because those are really nice. I mean, really. So, I'm going to take painter's tape, and I'm going to put it around each of the handles. And, again, I don't measure. I'm going to lay it side by side and, and guesstimate it the best I can. Yeah, that's that's the hillbilly way. No, <laughs> it's the Kathy way. <laughs> it's goofy. I just, I don't know. If y'all want yours more perfect, you can measure it, but... I, I didn't. And, um, anyway, after paying, I'm just going to prop them up there and let them dry. But I take that tape off again immediately. Look how crisp those lines are. And I think that just made those, just boosted those up. So, I'm going to take that matte varnish, y'all. And this is food safe, so you don't have to worry about it. And, um, I'm going to put it on all my little tools there and on my rolling pin. So, yeah. And got it down. And I'm going to measure here because I'm going to put little words on my rolling pin and above my little hooks um i just x that out of course and i go to my uh, design space and then i click on my fonts and <clears throat> i'm like well i like this one now y'all i can't see which font i click on maybe y'all can but i do roll stir uh what do i do y'all roll stir stir <laughs> spread <laughs> and flip yep I'm real deep, you know what I'm saying? I just, I just did whatever I thought that I'd like. I mean, that's what I'm going to be doing with the utensil. Might not make a lot of sense, but anyway, it did to me. Well, okay, now I think I'm looking for a font here. And y'all see where I clicked? I tried to put little arrows on everything. There, there we go. Look at that. That's cute. Well, when I added it to that row, it... I didn't like the way it looked because, oh, look, if you're looking for that font you just used, you could go up to the search bar like I did and like I should have done in the beginning and just type that font back in, hit search, and, and click on it, and it's going to change your little word to it. Well, I needed that to be four inches long. It looked cute there until I, yeah, look at that O. That's what it was. I did not like that O, and I'm like, oh, no, I can't handle this. And sometimes I'll go in and just change the O, but... This time, I'm just looking for a font that I like better that sort of matches it that's still going to look good. Well, I thought that did. <laughs> now, I didn't want my vinyl to cut straight down, y'all. I wanted to use it like across the board. And you can use it over to 12 inches. And so here, <clears throat> I'm just going to ungroup everything. And I'm going to move my words up by my stir. I mean, no, up by my roll. And you just highlight them and move them. That's all you got to do. It's that simple. Um, make sure you highlight the whole thing, because if you don't, it's going to just take one letter at a time. This is for all y'all that's been asking me. Um, I need help, so. And anyway, like I said, you can email me or hit me up on Instagram. It might take me a minute to get back to y'all, but I will. Anyway, here I'm just going to weld it together, because I want it to, yeah, lay just like that on my mat there. Now, I just cut it out, and... There you go. Can't be any easier than that. Just wait it. Yeah, I don't know why I got real quiet there. Maybe I need some music or Jesse doing some singing. Just gonna cut it apart here. Oh, y'all, I should have cut that out. Sorry. And, and I'm gonna take that <clears throat> piece of transfer tape that I already used once. I cut a little pieces off of it. And I'm gonna put it on my little words there. And again, I'm going to burnish them down real good and just put them on my project. And I think that this thing is adorable and I love this thing. And y'all, 100%, this is going in my kitchen. Going in my kitchen. Dirty, dirty, dirty. I'm going to make this sign. I saw it the other day. It made me laugh so hard. It said, if I stir it, it's homemade. And ain't that the truth? If I'm going in there and going to mix it up for you, a can of soup, then I made it at home. And you didn't make it for yourself, so hush your mouth. It's homemade. <laughs> y'all like that? I think I'm going to do it. Anyway, here it is, y'all. And look how adorable this is. I love it. I seriously love it. And I'm seriously 
hanging it on a little wall in my kitchen by my stove. And I'm going to use, I think I can ha I might hang a towel by my rolling pin. I don't know. I just like that for looks. Okay, y'all. I got one of these little puzzles here from the Dollar Tree. <clears throat> and I probably should have stuck two of them together like I normally do, but I didn't. I just used this one singular. And I'm going to take some wood glue and glue my pieces in there. Now, somebody asked why I did that instead of just throwing them away. It's because when I put that craft paper on the back of it, I don't want it to sink in. I want it to just kind of lay flat as it can. And I got that little easel from Goodwill, but I heard it was originally from Ikea. It was 99 cents at Goodwill. Um, but I've seen that Dollar Tree has them. Mine don't, but some of y'all's does. And I'm going to take some Goo Gone and clean off that sticker residue and clean it with alcohol. And I'm going to take four tumbling tire blocks, y'all. And <clears throat> I'm going to glue it across my easel there because I want a thicker base so I can set my tablet on it, too. And I just use antique wax on it and stained it up. So here I got me a paint handle left over from heaven only knows what, y'all, with them five-gallon paint stir sticks. Yeah, so I'm going to um, take wood glue and glue it to the top of my little sign there. I did take a dab of, did I? No, I didn't use any hot glue at all. See, <laughs> I don't even know what I do. Um, I'm just going to place it down there and take some of those clamps from the Dollar Tree and hold it in place until it dries. But I think I, look, it sets right up on my little easel. Pop goes the easel. Anyway, yeah, there you go. Those things. Um, what am I doing? Oh, so I'm going to take a piece of uh, craft stick. And I'm going to line it up because it stuck out just a hair on the back of my sign. The paint stir stick did. So I put that under there and that kind of made it all flat. All one level. And, yeah, look. There you go. So I hot glued it. Because <clears throat> that, that wood glue didn't work. And I got these little toothpicks. Came in that bag of brick and brac, y'all. I've used tar all of it. And I took three of them. They're flat ones. And I glued it to the handle there and the other stick. Y'all see? Maybe I glued more. I don't even know. And I'm going to fill that in with lightweight spackle. And we're going to sand it down. And we're going to paint it um, in that rust on and white chalk paint. So I got that, um, that dishwasher safe Mod Podge and some more of that craft paper from the Hobby Lobby. And I take another half inch strip. I put it at the top. And then that one at the bottom I think is about. Yeah it's about two inch strip. And just put it across the bottom there. Y'all this turns out so cute. Anyway. And yeah just sand it down. Sand off the excess. And then yeah just cover the entire thing with Mod Podge. Because again you want to be able to wipe that down. Things get all dusty and stuff in your house. And you know. Anyway, I'm taking my glue stick here, and I'm um, putting it all over the back of my sign. I'm taking a piece of craft paper, or shipping paper, whatever you want to call it, and hot glue, and running around the edges, and going to glue that back on there so it doesn't look ugly, and take my knife there, and cut that excess paper off. Now here, I'm just going to measure. I think it's eight and a half by eight and a half, that white section, I think, and that was just pure luck. I don't know. So, I got this piece of canvas from one of those many canvases i tore apart over time i save all this junk well it's not junk if you use it anyway and i'm going to take my strong grip mat here y'all um i want it to hold that down i don't want it to go anywhere and i'm going to put my canvas on it and um oh and over here in design space i type in conversion chart see and, um, you can type in anything. I type in funny stuff and get some funny comments, y'all. I mean, it's just, it's, it's got so much stuff in there. And I'm going to scroll down till I find the one that I like. So, when I do, I'm going to click on it. And click and send it to my canvas. And up the top in the little boxes, I'm going to do 8 by 8. Y'all see? Yep, there we go. 8 by 8. But this time... We're doing something different. Um, what am I doing? I don't know what that says. Oh, here I'm going to put on mat. And I'm going to click on all material type. And I'm going to scroll down and click on canvas. But we're not going to cut the canvas, y'all. We're going to use our ink pen or a marker. So, I think I showed you me changing that. I just missed it because I'm goofy. 
And I'm going to um, load my map. And first, oh, you know, I got to put my marker in. And I forgot to do that. But, y'all, and then it's going to make sure I got enough material to do the, the, the drawing. Y'all need to see this. This is crazy. I know people don't do this with markers, but I just think it's neat. So, put my marker in. Make sure you hear it snap. And then press the play, the play button. The go button, it's the little arrow. And it's marking up my section here. <clears throat> of my 8 by 8 And y'all, it's going to start drawing my little conversion chart picture. Y'all need to see this. And if you don't want to, you can just skip ahead. But I just want you to see how cool this is. Look there. Kitchen conversion. Isn't that neat? I just think that's... I thought it was a good idea. It, look, it drew out my little scales there. And that's a marker. And that's on canvas, y'all. I just think it's cool. Okay, y'all. I put some tacks in it. I put it on my cutting board. And there it is. And put it on my little easel. And I think that's adorable. I didn't glue it down or nothing if I ever wanted to change it. And I've always wanted one of those. And I'm going to set that by my stove. And I just think it's cute. Okay, I hope y'all like it I just want to let you know to be entered in the giveaway for the Cricut Explore Air 2 and the Cricut Easy Press and the ironing mat. Um, I don't know if y'all have mentioned that before, but this is the ironing mat. But um, all you got to do is type the word Cricut. Now, I love y'all, but let's not be greedy. If y'all got all this stuff at home, please give someone else a chance to win it. And y'all mean the world to me, and I do wish I could give everybody one, but I just can't. So, um, i like for at least one person to be lucky to receive the machine. So, all you gotta do is type in the word cricket, and make sure you spell it. C-R-I-C-U-T. If you don't, if you type in cricket like the bug, then when I do the, um, the raffling, when it when it draws, it's, it's going to be looking for C-R-I-C-U-T. So, anyway, y'all, good luck. I love you from my whole work. Okay, y'all. Right here, I got two of these little wood round pieces that I got off Amazon. They say they're supposed to be 12 inches, but they're 11 something by 11 something. Y'all can use the little round signs from the Dollar Tree. I didn't because I only have one, or I would have done it for y'all. Okay, and I'm going to take wood glue. And no, I'm not making a tear tray, but you can make a tear tray with this. Um, I'm taking wood glue, and I'm gluing tumbling tower blocks halfway around my thing. Now, I wish I would have used only 26 blocks, but I used 30. And I think I would have liked for it to be shorter. But it's not, because <clears throat> this is what I did. <laughs> and that's just how it goes. Anyway, then I'm going to put some weight on it so it will um, dry, and then I'm going to mark on the sides where, how far up my tumbling tower blocks go, look y'all, my mother-in-law used to have one of these, and I loved it, and she was going to give it away or something, she gave it to me, and then one day she came to my house and took it back away from me, so I'll just make my own, anyway, so I'm going to take my knife there and just cut where I drew those little lines all the way across, and sand it down real good, excuse me, and, um, I'm going to take wood glue and glue that piece on around my thing there. You see what I'm saying? My smiley face. <laughs> anyway, lay it down there. We're going to put some weight on it and let that dry a few hours. I'll wipe all that uh, wood glue off the best I can. And anyway, when it dries, we're going to come back and we're going to put a hanger on it. Now, I just... Seen where I thought was the middle, the best it was. <laughs> and then I'm going to measure across. Half my stuff is crooked as a dog's hind leg, y'all. I can't see nothing. Anyway, um, I'm just finding the middle there the best I can. And I'm taking one of those dominoes from the Dollar Tree. And I'm going to wood glue it down to my thing. Because it's wood on the back of it. That's paper on the front, but wood on the back. Because I wanted my... um sawtooth hanger to have something thicker and so it wouldn't go through my board because those are really thin anyway and i'm going to paint it it's like a steel color i mixed elephant and white together because i wanted a lot of gray and i'm going to paint the entire thing um that color and then and knowing then anyway i'm going to take that craft paper there from the hobby lobby and i'm just going to lay it on the back and measure out you know the the roundness of it <laughs> The, the round, measure the round. 
cut that out. I'm going to even up the back of my paper with the back of my little wood sign, take a pencil there, and make a mark on the side where I need to cut. <clears throat> you see what I'm doing? I'm pushing it down in there because I want some of the paper to go down inside of it because I want it to look like it runs all the way through, which I could have done that, but then my tumbling tower blocks wouldn't have stuck as well, and, and I didn't know I was going to do it till now. But anyway, I take my scissors and I cut it and make sure it's where I want it. And cut the pieces off that was left over. Because you don't want a floppy piece right there. And I know it ain't floppy. But whatever. You know what I'm saying. Slide it down in there. <clears throat> We're going to take some of that um, dishwasher safe Mod Podge. And put a light coat on the back of our little wood piece there. Yeah, I know. I got that awful heavy. Make sure you put it down inside there. And put your paper down. And let that dry. Well, make sure you get your edges down real good. And then when it dries, we're going to put on our top coat. We're probably already sanded. I don't know. <clears throat> Excuse me. And I'm going to put my sawtooth hanger on there. And I take that little pokey tool from the Dollar Tree. I lay my sawtooth hanger down. And I just jab it in the wood where my screws are supposed to go. And that'll get your screw started. <clears throat> Excuse me. Oh, now I'm going to sand it, of course. I do everything backwards. But anyway... And I got this little square sign from the Walmart for 98 cents. And I'm going to take more of that paper from the Hobby Lobby. It's the same thing I did from my little floating shelf. And I'm going to send that down real good. But I'm going to put this on the front of my little um, thing here. And I'm going to put uh, wood glue and hot glue. I don't know what you'd call this thing. But I know what I'm calling it. Yeah, something to get stuff out of my way. I got paper plates sitting everywhere, y'all. My husband with the sands, we ran out. Look, and I put a label on it, Country China, and I'm putting my paper plates in there. <laughs> he bought two small paper. Look, he bought uh, dessert plates, and I said, well, good gravy. So, the regular size paper plates fit. And this is everything, y'all. I hope you enjoyed the video. I know it was a mess. I was extremely nervous. I can't believe Cricket wanted to work with me, and I hope that you guys enjoyed the video, and I hope y'all forgive me for all the mistakes and the mess and the blunders and the bloops, and good luck with the Cricket, y'all. I love y'all.